Hello and welcome to another post Australian Pride March interview. Uh, we are lucky to be joined now by the, I guess you call it, the head of the True Blue group, Kane. Thanks for being on here at Chuckle. Thank you. Mate. As, he, as you can see, he's enjoying a, a beer after after the massive uh, march, which is you know, probably well, well earned. So I'll start by asking you, uh, who are the True Blue group? At True Blue Group, uh, we started back last year. Basically, mate, we're just a pro Australian movement. You know what I mean? We're, we like to read, uh, reiterate everything that was, you know what I mean, that sort of was the Australian culture. You know what I mean? We're not, everyone goes anti-immigration and racist and stuff. No, not at all, mate. I have friends of all different nationalities. But my friends that come from different, different nationalities, mate, they love this country and they love what it stands for and what created this country. Me and them, we have no problem in the world. Come to this country, be Australian. And as long as that is your point of view, mate, we get all the way out so Yeah, that's completely true. I mean, I've met uh, Asian and Indian Australians yeah. there. They're often some of the most patriotic people that you meet. Bloody oath, mate. Because you can't pick where you're born. You can't pick your skin color. But you can choose how you decide to pick it off. And that, that, is, that is something everyone has the option to do. And that is why we aren't anti, we're not a pro-white movement, we're not a pro, you know what I mean? We're pro-Australian, you know what I mean? If you love Australia, you love its core values, and you contributed to this country, we're Australian. That's the way we see it. Unfortunately, the left kind of may get with something that we're not, which is not the case, but we're for everyone. If you love this country, and on Australia Day, make you stand up loud and proud, mate, whether, you, whether you like to admit it or not, you have the same values as us. Uh, that's also not a message that you get to, get to say, say to people. Um, so we're glad that we're able to get you on here to yeah, get, the, get the honest no, 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 I appreciate the I appreciate chance, mate. Much appreciate Now let's talk about today. Why was it important to, to have the Australian Pride March? But unfortunately nowadays, like, for example, on Australia Day, thousands upon thousands march considering now labelling the day as invasion. Now, I don't know how yourself feels about that, but when you about Australian, there is nothing further from the truth. Do you know what I mean? Australia Day should be a day for every single person in Australia to come together as one and be proud to be Australian. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter where your skin colour. If you are here and you love this country, you should celebrate Australia Day. We just find it very disheartening. I suppose would probably be the correct word that so many people are trying to turn a day that should be celebrated into a day of shame. Which, hey, why should we? Why should we be ashamed of Australia? Day? Australians have created one of the best countries in the entire world. Right now, we're standing in the most livable city in the entire world, and somehow we should be ashamed of that. People go on to go on about oh, yeah, multiculturalism and all those aspects. Yeah, but no, multiculturalism helped create this country. My view on multiculturalism is we accept everyone's aspects, you know, your culture of where you come, where you've come from, or you know, your culture, your heritage. That is all well and good. But let's mould it together. Let's still stay true to ourselves. Let's still stay true to the core of what it is to be Australian. You know what I mean? We just find nowadays a lot of division, so to speak. And that should not be the case. Everyone should, we should all gel together. You know what I mean? Stop worrying about our differences. Start worrying about where we do, do agree. Do you know what I mean? And if we can't all agree that we live in the greatest country in the world, and that we should all be so lucky to consider ourselves Australians, what's it all for, mate? What, what is, where is your pride in being Australian? If you're constantly just battered by people telling you how it's, you should be ashamed to be Australian, how our, our, our ancestors did things that were wrong, do you know what I mean? It's, it's due to those, don't get me wrong, some mistakes were made in the past that I personally maybe would have wanted them in a different way. That is the past. You learn from your mistakes. Let's move forward. Rather than dwelling on the past, let's move forward as, as one, as a group, as a culture. Do you know what I mean? We're all Australian. Why try and call, cause it a problem? That is one thing that really sits unwell with myself and a lot of people like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, nobody's denying that you know, some bad things happened in the past, but I think the only better truth is that we saw that uh, bad things were happening and we corrected them. Exactly. So we exactly. improved as a nation and look at the, the 
No one culture, right no one culture is without fault. No one culture is absolutely perfect. Yeah. It's it's purely and simple, mate. You don't make it, you don't make it. Yeah. You don't make it. Yeah. It's it's purely and simple, mate. You don't make you don't make the perfect omelette without making a few shit ones. You know what I mean? You learn from your mistakes and you move forward. Don't sit and dwell on what was. Let's move forward and you know, celebrate what is. That's that's what we're about. You know what I mean? But we don't want to lose sight of our heritage, of our proud people, of our, you know, our flag. Our flag. Thousands upon thousands died, you know what I mean? Under that flag. That is a last thing that is handed to their family. And some people find that racist. Our flag. Our flag's our heritage. It's to be it's to be celebrated, not, not to be ashamed. Well, let's talk about some of those people. Though. We, we call them at the Unshackled the Regressives. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so if you're... We call them the Uneducated. Uneducated. Well, uh, obviously, uh, it's not as easy as you hold your march and you're left in peace. The, yeah. the, the left, they, they try to intimidate you and there's some that... All day, every day, mate. That's, a, that's their jobs, yeah. to make us feel ashamed of being who we are. And there's always a few who try and uh, attack you. Or, yep. And so there's always a heavy uh, police presence there. There was today. Yep. A few roads had to be blocked off as well, which is. Well, um, I think personally, police did a very good job today of um, keeping, the, keeping the distance between us, so to speak. It's unfortunate that that is necessary. In my opinion, that sort of speaks in volume, doesn't it? You know what I mean? But if you need police to protect people that are proud to be Australian, doesn't that say something about your culture? Doesn't that say something about your country and where you're headed? You know what I mean? Like, it's only in the last 15, 20 years this whole big push of being ashamed to be Australian has become a lot more apparent. And people like myself have just had enough of like, no, 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 we will not be told all this bitch. We will stand up, we will be heard. And we will let everyone know that you should not be ashamed to be ashamed. What is to be ashamed about? Because we're the greatest country in the world. I didn't know that we're meant to be ashamed of it. Uh, I think the harassment from the left, that's what's deterred a lot of people yeah, from of holding uh, marches such as this one and, and coming, coming yeah. along as, as well. But, um, Which is very unfortunate, mate. Very but I'm not sure if you saw it was, uh, I probably mentioned this in the other interview, but uh, the cars that were uh, uh, being blocked by traffic saw so you guys marching and they were cheering you on. So there is a lot of uh, untapped support people who, no, they, they are proud of this country as well, but they're just too scared to say it because it, it's, it, it's, it's not because the majority of these days, because the media and the and the political correctness, mate, is basically what pulls down to. Unfortunately, in this day and age, uh, I personally know probably around 10 people that have lost their job due to their opinion. You know what I mean? Their willingness to voice that opinion, which somehow, sadly, does not fit into the political, you know what I mean, the political view on what they want us all to be. They want us all to speak about, you know, if you're basically not preaching that how multiculturalism is perfection, then sorry, that's not okay. I mean, multiculturalism obviously has been a big influence on Australia. Australia's made up of many different nationalities. You don't have a problem with that. We just don't want to lose sight of the core values that is Australia. People moved here because they love our core values. People saw Australia as a place where if you come, you can get out of it what you put in. And those people have come here and thrived. Absolutely thrived. Now, I know how many Italians and Greeks have come over. Nothing but a suitcase. They didn't get no government assistance like these refugees get. We just saved you know, asylum seekers to come here in boats. Rather than doing what some other countries do and just turn them away, we've actually taken them on board, tried to get them somewhere safe to stay, and now we've just had to pay them out millions upon millions of dollars. Yeah, but you can walk down any street in Melbourne and there's homeless people sleeping on the streets of Vinod. Where is the common sense in that? People think we're racist because don't get me wrong, we do think immigration needs to be carefully looked at because, well, let's be perfectly honest, look away our country's head. Home invasions, mate, when I was 15, the idea of home invasions and carjackings and all that stuff, you just think, oh, stuff living in America, you know what I mean, as proud of a nation as it is, but unfortunately, due to that level of crime, we just would have felt unsafe. Now it's here, it's on our front doorsteps, mate, I'll myself in from Melton. 
we have home invasions, carjackings, every single night. And hey, if you the call spade a spade, it's largely being carried out by the African and the Sudanese community. And I don't mean the good people of the community that have come here for all the right reasons and to make a life for themselves. They've come by people here that think the Australian people when we all they've run away from their problems, no one's coming to create them. That to me is not immigration. You know, immigration is people moving here for all the right reasons and to better themselves and their lives. You know what I mean? The only thing we ask if you live here, take on our culture. It's not a hateful thing. It's not a it's not a white only thing. Do you know what I mean? But the Australian spirit is alive in so many people. The Australian spirit is as simple as saying hello to your next door neighbour when they're seen in the morning. Like many people ask us, oh, what is it? What does it mean to be an Australian? It's almost something you can't put into words. It's just in you, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's saying good day to your neighbour. It's helping the old lady across the road. You know what I mean? It's helping everyone when you can. And that's what everyone should do. Everyone, mate, I show you we are a successful, lucky country. And we should help when we can. But the problem is, we've fallen that far behind the eight ball now. Mate, the trouble is that our rules you know, I, mean, I, I personally don't understand why we're sending so many millions of dollars overseas to help other countries when you can walk in any street and there's homeless people. That makes no sense. Would you feed next door neighbour's kid if your kid's starting? I wouldn't. I'd love to help out my next door neighbour's kid if I could, but if my son's starving, then I'm sorry, my kid is my priority. My kid is my responsibility. When I'm in a position where I can help further, by all means, we should. That is, that is a human instinct to help people. Do you know what I mean? But if you're not helping your own first, then helping others is also going to be important. Yeah, certainly. I mean, most people don't object to looking after their local communities first before Absolutely. everyone else thinks the same thing as a country. Unfortunately, there's well. thousands of people that would disagree with you. <laughs> Uh, we, have, we saw quite a, quite a few of them today. So the, the obviously the intimidation and as was called you know, doxing, you mentioned a few of your friends that had lost their job and it, it, does that does that does it affect you? I mean, because you are making uh, a sac uh, sacrifice. In the, world. the amount of yeah, we may not have only been involved now for eighteen months, roughly. No, I mean like always sort of just to see it in the media, see it portrayed, and just think, yeah, that's me. No, I mean I'm proud of Australian audience to get amongst that. But now I've probably been heavily involved for say around eighteen months, and the thing is, not only the information you start being sent from other people all across Australia. You know, I mean, it's what's happening in there, it's yeah, and the problems they may have, and other things like that. The ridicule you got. Oh my God. Well, it is just, it's unprecedented. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm basically the second coming of Hitler if you ask the, the leftist books. You know what I mean? Hitler. There's no swastikas hanging up in my house, mate. There's no pictures of Hitler on any covers. I'm a proud Australian. Australians fought against Hitler. That's why I love how they call us Nazis and this, that, and the other. Nazi all the old is not for Australia. I'll be the first to say it. Uh, the, uh, the only swastikas I saw in jail was on the social posters. They were the only ones. They, they call that. us Nazis, but they're the ones that seem to bring the representation of it. So, yeah. Now what do you think on that? Now, we've, uh, we've, we've spoken a lot about the problems that Australia faces. And probably the biggest challenge is getting our politicians to, to the sectors. None of them will go anything here. Anything that has the word hatred. Do you think that we can turn a corner and... I guess Australia is waking up, so Australia is waking up solidly. Unfortunately, due to political correctness and the push from the left, a lot of people are scared to voice their opinions publicly. I mean, as you saw today, you know, the ridicule you receive from the opposition, so to speak, is for a lot of people just they just can't fathom it. You know what I mean? We have been my organisation used to attend you know, certain venues as meeting places. Those venues, once the opposition uh, find out about us attending those certain venues, get nothing but bombarded by phone calls, emails, text messages saying, so you support Hitler, so you support you know, racism, you support just everything that we're not about. And unfortunately, 
from a business point of view, they have to look at it as it is and just realise that for our staff, they shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't be victims of pretty pill. And unfortunately, they succumb to the pressure of these things. We are hoping to try and let people just understand, just let people understand themselves, but just give a bit of pride back and hang on, when you start hearing that, speak up. You know what I mean? Like, I am not a racist, it's not offensive at all to international mate. I work for Muslims. I work I work at least three out of five days a week with Muslims. And I am proud to call them my friends. You know what I mean? They are proud Australian Lebanese Muslims. They don't go to the mosque every week. They think the bird that is at Australian and has no place here. They are as against terrorism as much as myself. And how can I personally have a problem with an individual that feels exactly as I do? What, because they call themselves a Muslim? No, sorry, that isn't the be all and end all to me. Because you consider yourself a Muslim, doesn't automatically make me and you have a problem with each other. It's the extent of your religion and your ideology which can maybe make me and you have a few differences in opinions. Yeah, right. Like I said, the crew of Muslims that I work with, they believe pretty much exactly as I do. Like my employer, which is Muslim, I won't say his name, he sends his kids to a Christian school. Because he wants his children to grow up, not only knowing the Islamic ideology, because Australia was not founded under Islamic ideology. So his point of view is, what would all my kids to grow up knowing and you know, being heavily taught and stuff that has no place in this country at its core? I mean, okay, the Muslims have moved into Australia and, you know, there's a lot of good Muslims that are making the doing the best they can to fit into our society and to better the country, you could say. And a lot of them fall back. It's the other ones that will come up with the people who do believe in Sharia, the people who do think it's okay to marry children. Well, I'm sorry, in Australia, we have our own culture, we have our own rules, and we have our own way. Right? Here, you touch a child, you're a pedophile. In Australia, we all know what we'd like to do to make So, that in turn makes it hard for us to agree with people that are very far into their ideology. And that just believe every single aspect of it is the right way for you. Well, if you pick it off your own horse and go, hang on, I'm a Muslim. The God I choose to believe in is I know where this other one. That doesn't make them you hate each It's only when you start going that uh, women should get around covered. Yeah, well, sorry, not here in Australia, mate, because women are already pussy. I don't know about where you come from, and your country has a right to make its own rules, just as we do. If you're in Australia, live in Australia, mate, just as we would if we were in your country. And like, like, I say, like I say to all the left, that you don't know, try to stick up for Islam and all that, mate, before cool you, I can tell you, feel. go to Saudi Arabia, go jump in a bikini, see how far you get, see if they stick up for you. Because I think. People want me and you, you know the end. Well, congratulations on today's rally. Thank you very much, mate. It was very successful and I'm glad that everyone kept safe. That's I'll, all we hope for. I'll let you get back to your, your beer and, and relax and relaxing. Um, and yeah, thank you for agreeing to meet you. Get yeah, involved in the world, mate. Yeah, and it, it's, it was certainly, I'm, I'm glad that uh, you were able to uh, shed light on counter of a lot of what's, uh, what the mainstream media says about you. Mate, apparently we hate gay people, we hate everyone that isn't of white skin colour. Apparently we just hate everyone. Did you yourself hear any preaching of hate today? No, all, all I said was, you know, love uh, Australia, love exactly right. freedom. It wasn't love white people, it wasn't love people that are only straight. Because, mate, we all come together and we all tell us one as Australia. That is one thing we can all fall back on and love together. It doesn't matter where you come from. That's the one thing we can all come together on. That we live in the greatest country in the world and that we should all be proud to be Australian. Well, I hope that everyone who is watching found that uh, informative. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also links to the other interviews and uh, footage from uh, today's uh, march will be will be up as well. So thank you once again for watching and yeah, love Australia. Take care, guys.